Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to paint this realistic owl's eye. Let's begin! Do you dream of painting realistic wildlife but you just you don't know where to begin? Then consider this your personal invitation into the Wildlife Painting Academy. Get access to a large library of real-time, in-depth tutorials and learn how to paint your favorite animals easily. Check it out in the link of the description of this video. So for this demo, I'm working with oil paints, but you can very easily achieve the same look with acrylics. So I'm starting like I always do. I'm going to block in the darkest portions of my painting first. So here I'm actually going in with black and a relatively large brush. We're just doing our underpainting at this point, so don't worry too much about details. We're going to focus on broader strokes and establishing some really good value right from the get-go, which is why I like to start with my darkest points first. Next up, I'm going to block in the bulk of the iris. So this particular owl has a really nice golden sort of red iris. That's the colored part of the eye. So I want to start off with a relatively dark, nice, vibrant, rusty color that you can see here. And then where the shadows are going to go in the eye, I'm going to add a bit more of a darker red tone to it just to give it a little bit more of a shadow tone. And don't forget to add in that nice dark pupil. Now that the underpainting of our eye is complete, let's go on to do some of the feathers. Here I'm going in with a medium brown and again, not looking at any sort of detail right now, just kind of blocking in the main tones. So this particular owl has lighter colored feathers right around the eye itself. So that's why I'm going in with a lighter version of my previous paint and just blocking that in. So now I'm going in and starting to strengthen where some of those markings are going to go in the feathers. Don't worry too much at this phase if things aren't looking super detailed. We've got plenty of time for that. We just have to build a solid foundation first. So now I'm taking a dry brush and I'm just very lightly blending out those wet brush strokes. Now it's time to go back and reinforce some of those markings again. Now 
Now I'm starting to work in my first pass of details with a lighter color. Don't be afraid to bounce back and forth between your light lighter and darker tones when you're working. As you can see, I definitely do all the time. Now it's time to go in with a lighter color and a smaller brush and start detailing. Have fun. This is one of my favorite phases of this painting, so make sure you take the time to actually enjoy it. So now you want to go in with a nice bright golden yellow tone and you can start to add some more light and details to the actual eye itself. This is really going to add some life to your painting. And now it's time for glazing. I wanted to add a lot more warmth to these feathers so as you can see here I'm going in with a rusty colored glaze to really add some life here. Now it's time for my final detail pass. This is where I slowly go through and add details where I think it's necessary. And we're done. That brings us to the end of this painting. Subscribe if you want to see more tutorials for painting realistic animals. And if you have any suggestions for new tutorials, draw me a comment down below. Now, if you're craving more help and want the full real time tutorial complete with my voice walking you through every moment, paint mixing recipes, reference photos, and more, then I think you would love the Wildlife Painting Academy. New tutorials are added each month, and it is truly your secret weapon for learning how to paint realistic wildlife easily. You can check it out in the description of this video. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.